I'm going to go over four ETFs that Trader Marat is tracking for 2025. He says that he hopes we don't see any black swan events next year and that a useful correction would be anywhere from 10 to 15 percent. So first up, SMH. This is a ticker that I have tracked in the past, but it's been a very long time. We ended the day at $244.62, down 0.60%. We are at VWAP in the blue right there. To the north side takes us to one level of resistance and the middle of the trend and the baseline. That is roughly 245.25. Above that, 248.67. 250 40 and should we be so lucky as to hit this on monday don't hold your breath 252 17 to the south side another support line is in the pink there at 243 97 but that is not what i play i'm just putting on vwap so that you can see where we are within the linear as well 241.79 240 and roughly 238.23. And note, this is your potential sell, sell, sell lines. And what happens? This whipped up and people took their profits and they ran, they locked in and they left. And so price fell back down again. But if we wick up to here or here or here, that is a clear sell signal for me. And that's how I trade. And then looking left, you can see again, resistance selling back down, back up to resistance here along this line, grinding along this trend line. Didn't quite make it all the way up, flush down, support, 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 many levels of support in between, but that's my clear line of support and resistance. We do have a gap to the upside, a tiny one, that will take us to 258.96. There are no analyst predictions on TradingView and elsewhere for ETFs. They just don't give it, but you can predict it yourself by using the lines. I'm gonna switch this over to the daily time frame and see what is happening. Ignore all this I've marked out in the past. And then TradingView got wonky on me and it's not even lining up with what I drew. And as you can see, VWAP does not work on this bigger time frame. So ignore that. So I'm going to anticipate price to the south side will take us to 237.74 as one potential area, 220 at another, to the middle of the trend, 273.68. And I have and that would wipe that out. And then I have a bigger gap fill that I have tracked from a long time ago, and that will take us to 273.58. And this little one has already closed out, as you can see, and I need to clean up this. This already touched right about here. So that took us down to 227.22, no longer a threat to our account to the south side, delete. I need to clean this up. Again, whenever I draw these, I just take it out. You can take it out to infinity, but you gotta go back and clean it because you have no idea when it's going to touch. That's why you have to pay attention to that. And that will give you a potential goal. This is a very gappy ticker. So it's great if you like to play the gaps. And I'm gonna take this maybe to the 15 minute time frame so I can clean that up. Oh, actually, no, it won't. Well, let me see, I have to drag it by hand. Or I could just flip it to, oh, actually, I wasn't on the 15. Let me go to the 15, that helps. All right, there was a gap here. See, I marked it out, out already, but on the 15, this did not touch yet, and it touched right there. So you have to be consistent on the time frame that you're playing and drawing things out because it will not match up. Done, done, okay. And what happened here at 249? So we ran up, ran back down. Then I was tracking this gap and it, it appears that it touched right there, but if you blow it up, it did not touch. So where did it touch? 
right here, roughly. Okay, so that took us down to 255.49. And then I did a video here and here. Wherever you see the price target in black is where I did a video. And that touched right about there. So that's done at 264.49 as well. So that is it. And then this big bopper here, don't hold your breath though, just yet. I'll go back and revisit these. Not in the channel, not in the zone, not even close. We are moving on downward on the 15. Again, on the five though, we are going up. See, it's, it gets confusing. But here we are going down and then hopefully retracing back to this level and then wiping out those gaps. And then I gotta clean this up because it gets wonky what I've labeled. Okay, the next one. Mags. Round Hill Magnificent 7 ETF. We are at 5104. And I'll just give you price targets for giggles. Fifty-one thirty-eight, fifty-one sixty-one, and fifty-one eighty-six. Use the outer bands as potential areas that we might get to later in the week if we continue the same path as we are right now. So VWAP is at fifty-one oh three, middle of the trend, fifty-ninety, fifty-forty-three, fifty-eighteen, forty-nine ninety-four. A bounce at support there, sell off at resistance, 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 buy in down there. And what is happening on the daily? Because again, Murat is tracking this into 2025, and we have a lot, we have many gaps to the south side to fill. This one taking us down to roughly 37.53. Could we get there? Maybe, if we get that black swan event that he was talking about. This gap closed on the daily. Again, flip it over and you can clean that up depending upon the time frame that you mark this out. 38.95 and then ran up from there. And then we've got this one. Oops, I have to drag this out, get it off of this line or it won't let you do what you want to do. Okay, and there. RSI, eh, not doing much. Looks like it's gonna go sideways, but anytime we hit resistance, there's the sell-off, there's another buy-in, sell-off here, and then flip it over to the weekly and the monthly for other buy and sell signals. Let's talk about Schwab. It's been a while since I've done this one, but on the daily, look at this, a bounce, grinding along the trend here, bounce up to resistance, falling down to support. And this puppy takes us down to roughly 26.43. But on the daily, we're at the middle of the trend, 28.82. Twenty nine sixty. Should we be so lucky? At some point, we'll get to thirty twenty four. Twenty seven ninety three is the fifty two week high, which we hit on Friday. So, congrats if you made some money off of that ticker. Yeah, I guess I haven't really, 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 really <laughs> tracked this one. Oh, that. Oh, what happened here? Hmm. See what I mean about trading view. What happened? That trading view, I marked this stuff out and then it goes wonky on me. Yeah, so I gotta go back. Let's go back to the five. Okay, for the five, let me just move this, clean this up. 28, 27.49. Okay, I really shouldn't go back and forth between the different time frames, but I want to give you the big picture price target. Again, you got to figure this out yourself because you got to go to the bigger time frames to see price where price is going to take you because analysts are not going to tell you on an ETF. 
2766. You can be your own analyst. Don't rely on somebody else only because you don't know that what their motivation is. These people that are hedge fund managers, they could want to flush you out so they can buy the ticker cheaper. So you don't know. But then good news can make your ticker run like crazy too. 2774. But that way you can just kind of figure out yourself in the big picture on any given time frame at any time of the day or night. If you want to look at your stocks at midnight, you can do this yourself. 2781, 2734, 2727, 2719. Support, 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 support. Look at that. It gave you clues to buy in. Could it go down even more? Yes. So that's why you have to do your research, look at different the different indicators that can help you make better predictions for yourself. All right, the next one. Oh, it's my last one. Yay, I've got to go get on the treadmill. IGV. And I have to make one more video too. My gap and goes. That takes me forever. 106.47. I think I might just stop doing those. 107.41. 107.94, nobody watches it anyway. 108.38, but I do enjoy making them, but it's a lot of them in one video. 105.63 is the middle of the trend. 105.50, 105.03, 104.51, and then to the south side, 103.46. Let me get rid of that. Okay, resistance, resistance here, just grinding along the line, falling back down to support, one level of support, grinding our way. Price will always hover through the middle of the trend, it'll slice through it to get to the, obviously the upside or the downside or its resting place here, or it could go sideways and that's why I like to draw that as a potential support and resistance line as well. Did I do that for SCG? H, no. But just while I'm here, I'm going to do it. Mags, oops. And that one, yeah. Did I give you the monthly? No. Let's go give you the, or the daily. That is going to take us down to 92. Forty-two and potentially ninety-three, ninety-three. All right, for the upper band here, that will take us to one eleven twenty-six, and then oh wait, I forgot to give you this one one oh six eighty-six, and then one eleven thirty-five-ish, whatever. And then if we make it to this line, that'll wipe out the gap at one oh two fifty-one. You don't even have to play the gaps; you can just Anticipate, anticipate where it might fall anyway, and any gap that's there that you didn't see will get wiped out eventually. All right, that is it for me for this video. That is a look at SMH, SCHG, MAGS, and IGV. That was a mouthful. Thank you to Marat for pointing it out, and I will take a look at this again in 2025 unless someone is interested in looking at it again beforehand. Have a great trading week.